गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट इन सब्जेक्ट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिवाइस एंड सर्किट चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एम्पलीफायर्स सो लास्ट टाइम यू हैव स्टार्टेड विद द चैप्टर सो वी हैव कवर्ड टू सेशंस ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एम्पलीफायर्स सो लेट अस वन रिव्यू ऑन व्हाट पॉइंट्स वी हैव डिस्कसड सो इन दैट वी हैव सीन द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एम्पलीफायर सो व्हाट आर व्हाट इज मीन बाय एम्पलीफायर and why there is a requirement of mediated feedback then we have seen the electronics amplifiers from that voltage amplifier current amplifier transconductance amplifier and trans resistance amplifier then now we have seen the concept of feedback so what is mean by feedback and why it is necessary of the feedback so we have seen principle of feedback uh, amplifier so from that we have carried out uh, that the equation which is very useful or very standard equation to calculate the gain of the feedback amplifier then we have seen the types of feedbacks okay so depending upon which uh, signal is uh, fed at the input side there are two types positive feedback and negative feedback but in positive feedback there are disadvantages that is increasing distortion and instability so that's why we are going for the negative feedback so negative feedback having its advantages that stability of gain is improved reduction in distortion reduction in noise increase in input impedance decrease in output impedance increase in the range of uh, uniform uh, application so why there is a uh, uh why not we are going to use the positive feedback because the positive feedback is these are the uh, input and that the feedback signal is in the phase shift of the 180 degree and the result and that the 360 degree phase shift so when the gain is increases increasing that the distortion so if the positive feedback having sufficient large uh, gain then it leads to oscillation so in oscillating circuits the positive feedback is used then what about the negative feedback so uh, when uh, negative feedback uh, that introduce 180 degree uh, phase shift into the circuit while feedback network is zero phase shift so that there is a re- reduced uh, means negative uh, feedback amplifier is reduced to the gain uh, though the gain of negative feedback amplifier is reduced uh, and that's why that the negative feedback having the following advantage so this part already we have covered so let us uh, see in detail that the negative feedback <coughs> so it is because of these advantages negative feedback is frequently employed in amplifiers okay so it is because of these advantages negative feedback is frequently employed in a amplifier so negative feedback in an amplifier is the method of feeding a portion of the amplifier output to the input but in opposite phase okay what is the negative feedback amplifier method of feeding portion of the amplifier output to the input but in opposite phase okay so the phase opposition occurs as the amplifier provides 180 degree phase shift whereas the feedback network doesn't okay so while the output energy is being applied to the input for the voltage energy to be taken as a feedback okay while the output energy is being applied to the input for the uh, voltage energy to be taken as feedback so the output is taken in shunt connection and for the current energy to be taken as feedback the output is taken in a series connection so there are two main types of negative feedback circuit so they are negative voltage feedback and negative current feedback okay uh, so up to this we have seen what is feedback so feedback is nothing but the uh, some extracted part from that the output to given to the input side so in a negative feedback we have to uh, feed that the portion of that the amplified output to the input but in opposite phase okay 
so while uh, which type of the energy you are uh, going to give at the input side depending upon that uh, the network connection as well as that the uh, sample uh, sampled uh, value from that the output is required so whether it is the voltage energy or whether it is the current energy suppose you are going to take that the voltage energy uh, to be taken as a feedback then output is taken in a shunt connection and suppose you are going to take the current energy uh, to be taken as a feedback the output is taken in series connection okay clear that we are going to fed at the input side some of the portion of the amplifier output so which is in opposite phase so if it is voltage energy then we have to take the connection uh, as a shunt connection and if it is current energy then output is taken in a series connection okay so there are two main types of negative feedback circuit so that is negative voltage feedback and negative current feedback so let us see in detail negative voltage feedback and negative current feedback so negative voltage feedback negative voltage feedback name indicates that voltage is voltage energy is taken uh, from the output side uh, in connection with that the shunt so in this method the voltage feedback to the input of amplifier is proportional to the output voltage so this is further classified into two types further classified into the two types okay see here so voltage series feedback and voltage shunt feedback so again you will get that the confusion what is again this voltage series and voltage shunt we can't take that the voltage in a series okay and we can't take that uh, we can, can take the voltage in a shunt so see here the name itself indicating that the voltage first uh, letter indicating that or first word indicating that which type of the energy is taken and series feedback means what how it is taken means uh, apply to that the input side whether it is in a series or whether it is in a shunt okay so according to that again voltage is taken and sh uh, shunt feedback so that is voltage is taken uh, as a feedback and at the input side it is con connection is in a parallel so like that negative current feedback so in this method the voltage feedback to the input of amplifier is proportional to the output current so this is further classified into two types current series feedback current shunt feedback so let us have a brief idea of all this okay because current series feedback means what uh, the energy uh, taken from the output uh, circuit is current but it is given to that the input side in a series so that is current series feedback so again in uh, next current shunt feedback here current is taken as the uh, output energy and it is connected for uh, for input side it is in a parallel so that is current shunt feedback okay negative feedback having two types negative voltage feedback and negative current feedback but according to the how you are going to connect it voltage feedback having two types that is voltage series feedback and voltage shunt feedback likewise current feedback is also having the two types current series feedback and current shunt feedback so see here the voltage series feedback okay so voltage series feedback so what you are observing this from this figure okay observe the figure okay so what you are going to observe see here which part we are going to take an out from the output that is voltage and how we are going to take if it is voltage then they are across or that the shunt connection so here certification of that means we have taken the voltage from uh, across this load resistance okay and then fed to that the uh, feedback uh, circuitry then next what about this series means what this output of this feedback resistor is given either series way or either that the shunt way so what uh, here uh, indicating that they are means here feded that is the in series okay so input voltage is vi output voltage is v not the feedback factor is beta 
so that the Vf is nothing but the beta V0. Okay. So in in the voltage series feedback circuit, a fraction of the output voltage is applied in series with the input voltage through the feedback circuit. Through the feedback circuit. So this is known as the shunt driven series fed feedback. That is parallel series circuit, or just we can say parallel series circuit because. Parallel connection is here and series connection is here. So the following figure shows the block diagram of voltage series feedback, by which it is evident that the feedback circuit is placed in a shunt with the output, but in series with the input. So as the feedback circuit is connected in a shunt with the output, the output impedance is decreased. and due to the series connection with the input the input impedance is increased okay so this last line is very important okay it will say that everything so voltage series feedback so everything it is in a name how to draw for the voltage series it is in a name how it will work that is it is in a uh, that name and what it is indicating that is also in the name so what it is indicating as the feedback circuit is connected in a shunt with the output the output impedance is decreased and due to the series connection with the input the input impedance is increased okay so every time for the mcq they are asking this uh, question so remember that this sentence is very important shunt output decrease the uh, output impedance and series connection Uh, increase the input impedance okay then next voltage shunt feedback so again observe the first upon diagram so voltage shunt feedback means what what is the first name indicating which energy we have taken at the output side so it is in a uh, voltage because it is taken as the across that the rr then again shunt means how at the input side they are connected in a parallel way to the input so in this series it is connection is the series and in a shunt it is connected in a shunt okay so that is the main difference between the voltage series and voltage shunt so what you are going to say about that the output voltage as well as that the input hmm? so let us for upon c in the voltage shunt feedback circuit a fraction of output voltage is applied in parallel with the input voltage through the feedback network so this is known as shunt driven shunt fed feedback that is parallel parallel prototype okay that is parallel parallel prototype previously one parallel series uh, prototype but here parallel parallel prototype so the below figure shows the block diagram of voltage shunt feedback so by which it is evident that the feedback circuit is replaced in shunt with the output and also with the input okay so the below figure shows the block diagram of voltage shunt feedback by which it is evident that feedback circuit okay is placed in a shunt with output as well as in a uh input okay so the last sentence that is very important as the feedback circuit is connected in a shunt with the output and input as well okay so both the output impedance and input impedance are decreased okay so keep in mind both the side it is connected that circuit is in a shunt that is parallel so both the output impedance and input impedance are decreased then next is the current series feedback so in current series feedback so what you are observing from this figure current series because in university question paper also they are asking the draw the topology for that the uh, feedback amplifier so at that time you have to draw this all four uh, topologies so current series name itself indicating that the current is taken from that the output side and it is 
in series is connected uh, connected in the input side so the that's why the diagram is like this okay so from this load resistance current energy is taken and it is fed to the feedback circuit and output from this feedback circuit is also taken and connection connected in series with the input circuit okay so that's why it is known as the current series feedback so in the current series feedback circuit a fraction of the output voltage is applied in series with the input voltage through the feedback circuit so this is known as series driven series fed feedback okay series driven series fed feedback that is series series circuit like the parallel parallel like likewise series series circuit so the following figure shows the block diagram of current series feedback by which it is evident that feedback circuit is placed in this feedback circuit is placed in series with output and also with the input okay so uh, next is the that the important thing that the last line as the feedback circuit is connected in series with the output and the input as well so both the output impedance and input impedance what will be happen about that they are going to increase okay because of that the circuit is connected in a series with output and uh, with input side also so both the output impedance and input impedance are increased then next current shunt feedback so again current shunt feedback so name so current that is the current energy is taken from the output circuit then from the feedback circuit the signal is in a shunt is connected to the input side okay so means that's why it is known as the current shunt feedback so in the current shunt feedback circuit a fraction of output voltage is applied in series with the input voltage through the feedback circuit so this is known as the series driven shunt fed feedback okay series driven shunt fed feedback that is series parallel circuit okay so the below figure shows the block diagram of current shunt feedback by which it is evident that the feedback circuit is placed in series with means this feedback circuit is placed in series with output but parallel with the input but parallel with the input okay so that's why it is known as the current shunt feedback so as the feedback circuit is connected in series with the output the output impedance is increased and due to the parallel connection with the input the input impedance is decreased okay so what we are going to say as the feedback circuit is connected in series with the output the output impedance is increased and due to the parallel connection with the input the input impedance is decreased so that is current shunt feedback okay then let us see the tabular uh, amplifier amplifier characteristic so we have seen four types of feedback amplifier voltage series voltage shunt current series and current shunt so voltage gain for all it is decreased bandwidth it is increased input resistance okay according to input side circuit connection so this shows that the input side and this shows that the output side so let us see the input side where it is the series then you have to write the increase whether it is the shunt then you have to write the decrease then what about the output resistance you are taking the energy from that the uh, circuit so if it is voltage then it is definitely gets decreased and if it is current then it is definitely get increased okay clear that then harmonic distortion they are because of negative feedback so all where it is decreases 
and noise is also all where it is decreases okay so voltage gain decreases bandwidth increases input resistance look here if it is series then it is increases if it is shunt then it is decreases what about the output resistance voltage then decreases current then increases harmonic distortion decreases noise distortion means voltage gain harmonic distortion and noise gets all over decreases and bandwidth is going to be increased okay so in this session we have seen uh, the types of negative feedback as well as the four types of that the negative feedback thank you